Hey everyone, this is going to be a full comparison between the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. Now the OnePlus 3 came out earlier this year as one of the best phones you could buy at such a low price, only $400 United States dollars and you're getting flat specs with it. The OnePlus 3T offers several upgrades that I'll discuss throughout the video, only $40 more, uh, $440 and this came out this week. So I'll start off by pairing both these phones on at the same time. We're going to see if those upgrades are worth uh, the real world use. You can see the difference of the speed between the two. So one of those upgrades that you're getting is the Snapdragon 821 versus the 820. Uh, the 3T, one of the first phones in the world of the 821. Both phones do have 6 gigabytes of RAM, which is extremely impressive for any phone. Uh, more than just about every flagship phone out there. And as you see here, 3T, first one to load up. Although, as you see here in a second, after you put in your pin, actually does have this animation here, which you do not have on the three. So I'll show you. So I think that the three is actually faster at completely booting up. All right, so you see three teases up. All right, so what plan for this video, including multitasking, app opening, game opening, web browsing, fingerprint scanner, and more. First up, let's do temper on two. Both phones 5.5 inch screens, 1080p. As you hear, 3T really fast here. Both phones rear facing 16 megapixel cameras uh, made by Sony. All right, next up is CNN. And I have done a lot of speed tests with the uh, 3. This is the first one I'm doing with the 3T. As you saw there, 3T a little bit faster boot, or loading up CNN. And I do got to say that the 3T, or rather the 3 has been doing excellent on speed test to put it through. All right. Look pretty close to me. Let's do YouTube next. Again, pretty close. I think fully loading up the 3 was a little bit faster. Let's do calculator next. And by fully loading up, I mean all the images. Let's do clock. eBay. 3T, as Fold 8. So another game here. All these uh, games apps are in the same version, the exact same version. And you're gonna notice that the 3T much faster here as Fold 8. Really no contest. I think that the A21 definitely showing its strength here. And that's gonna be the main improvement in terms of games. As we've already seen, Asphalt 8, Temple on 2, easily faster on the uh, 3T. Photos next. It may have been a little bit faster on the 3, but not by much with ESPN. And this is one of those apps that sometimes really slow, sometimes doesn't even load. Uh, as you see here, it may not load on the 3 this time. We'll see though. Give it a couple more seconds. And looks like it's going to load up now. All right. All right. So just a couple more, and then we're going to move on to some more tests. Let's do settings. All right. And then I did run an, uh, an Intuitive Benchmark. You guys are going to be pretty impressed with the 3T. As you see here with the 3, score of 144,926. But the 3T, now this is, I think this is the best I've seen on Android. Uh, 163,434. Uh, again, I think that is the best Android that I've seen. Let me just show you how it stacks up in the rankings. Oops. Go back in there. All right, so here's the rankings. So you see there, above everything besides the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. So I don't know if this actually lists, I don't think this actually lists all the Android phones, but again, I do own all the flagships, and I think that is the highest I've seen on Android. All right, so next up, we're going to look at... We'll do web browsing in a minute. Next up, let's do the camera. So again, both these phones rear facing 60 megapixel camera. Um, don't think there's really any difference. I will have video comparisons on my channel in the future, but for now, let's just see how fast they are taking pictures. All right, so it looks like the 3T is a little bit faster. Sometimes it's snapping. Sometimes it's the same, but there are instances where it looks like the 3T is a little bit faster. 
really not much of a difference for the most part. You guys can tell really similar. And again, we'll have an actual camera comparison on my channel in the future, so you can look forward to that. Um, in terms of front-facing camera, you're getting the improvement with the 3T 16 megapixel front-facing camera uh, versus 8 on the regular 3. All right, next up, we can do some multitasking. So let's go back and load up Temp Run 2. All right, so really fast on both. Uh, let's do iFunny. Again, really fast on both. Maybe a tad bit faster on a 3T, but I'm talking like a millisecond. Um, these are both excellent multitasking phones. eBay. Yeah, it looks like the 3T may be a little bit faster here. Uh, we'll do one more. We'll do Asphalt 8. Yeah, so 3T, fast and multitasking. Uh, but again, both really fast. All right, next up, let me show you guys the fingerprint scanner. So both these phones, oops. Both these phones, fingerprint scanner are located right here, the best spot in my opinion. And they're both insanely fast, as you can see. Two fast finger, uh, fingerprint scanners on the market, in my opinion. I mean, <laughs> you can't really improve on that. So yeah, I think you guys get the point. Excellent, excellent fingerprint scanners, both in terms of accuracy and speed. Um, I think we'll do... Let's do some web browsing next. So I'm going to go to some sites that I've not been to on either phone. Let's do Batman.com. And why? It's just because I'm running out of site ideas to do. All right, it's not even going to give me suggestions on Chrome. Not being easy on me. All right, so Batman.com. All right, here we go. All right, so it's actually, I don't even know what this is leading to. Oh, DC Comics. Okay, well, clearly it is faster here on the 3T. Looks like a site that's not that fast on either one, or just in general, I'm guessing. But yeah, this obviously goes to the 3T. Next up, let's stick with uh, superheroes. Let's do superman.com. Right? So, you guys, I gotta say, I'm very impressed so far with the OnePlus 3T. Uh, now, there are several things that you're not gonna get in some of the other flagship phones, like waterproofing uh, or front facing speakers, but for the most part, you really are getting pretty much everything else. Wow, yeah, it's not... Okay, let's just do superman.com. And it looks like the internet's starting to slow down here a little bit, usually not this slow. So just give me one second. All right, gonna uh, next up do ign.com slash ps4. Again, a site I've not been to on either one. So now there's some more general use sites. All right, so faster on the three, but I can say that the internet uh, usually not this slow. Looks like it's having some bumps here. Let me just do a couple more. Uh, we'll do uncharted.com. I've used these phones. At least I've used the um, three a lot and it's definitely faster. This usually for web browsing. All right, here we go. Looks like it's gonna be Wikipedia. All right, so they were voting up different parts. Um, let me do one more. Let me do stugeico.com. All right, so 3T there. Uh, looks like the web browsing went a little bit faster there towards the end. Uh, but I can say the 3 definitely excellent web browsing. Looks like maybe pretty similar to 3T. 
But for the most part, as you guys can tell, obviously the 3T is faster for most stuff, especially for games. Definitely going to be getting better performance on that. I'll just go over some more of the specs. So again, both 5.5 inch screens, 1080p, uh, both rear facing 60 megapixel cameras. On the OnePlus 3T, you are getting upgraded front facing camera, 60 megapixels versus 8. Uh, 64 gigabytes of internal storage for the 3 versus either 64, 128 for the 3T. Uh, no micro SD card support, unfortunately. Uh, you are getting an additional 400 mAh of battery for the 3T. 3400 versus 3000 on OnePlus 3. Um, Snapdragon 821 versus 820, or rather, sorry, Snapdragon 820 versus 821, both 6 gigabytes of RAM. Um, you have both fingerprint scanners, both USB Type C. Both currently on Marshmallow, once they're on end, I will provide an update video. And again, additional $40 for the 3T. So for the most part, you're getting the front facing camera, the Snapdragon 821, um, and possibly additional storage if you want it for the 3T. And I think the best upgrade, probably the battery, uh, 3400 versus 3000. Definitely gonna do a video on that, so you have that to look forward to. Uh, please subscribe if you aren't already for more videos like this in the future. We'll be doing a lot more comparisons versus phones like the Xperia XZ, uh, Google Pixel XL, and the iPhone 7. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more content in the future.